and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. Today I am going to undertake a shelter in place project. And what that is, is I'm going to put this insulation, and I'll show you a picture of that, on the roof of the van. I'm sorry I'm not going to have any specific scientific data letting you know how much cooler or how much quieter the van's going to be with it in there not really worried about the sound. It's amazing how quiet this van is uh, when it's loaded. That was one of the things that we've been really impressed with. Uh, and I don't know how hot it, it is um, because we got it the end of September. Uh, I do know it was very warm the day we picked it up. And by the time we got to our campsite, uh, when I opened these back doors, just cold air came rushing out. So the reason I'm doing it is because Theo's crate is up here and Patch's carrier rides back here and they're both in this back part. And so really I'm doing it for the to, to insulate from heat. Uh, we do live in Texas and so uh, that's our biggest concern. Um, and so we've not hit the middle of summer but Hey, this is when I have time to do this. It's May 1st today when I'm starting this. I have no idea whenever I'll post this. But, you know, it's I've got time and nowhere that we can go right now. So I figured this was a good time. I ordered the insulation and a little brush that, I mean, roller that's supposed to help put it up there. The hardest thing in this is going to be it's an awkward height. Uh, I've got some knee pads here, but if I'm on my knees, my arms are really going to be up and it's going to take its toll on my arms. And if I stand, I'm hunched over, so it's going to take a toll on my back. <laughs> um, and so that's going to be what's going to determine how long I work and, you know, what the stints are. But I'm very fortunate because it's really ready for this to be applied. Um, my my goal today, first step, is as much as I can, I'm just simply going to lay these things across there. They are, let me show you one, uh, supposedly they work really well for heat and sound. Like I said, not that worried about sound, but it is just a sticky back and so you have to take your time peeling this off and then placing it up there. Since this is already just open, um, going to take my time today. I'm going to put as many whole pieces as I can uh, and save the cutting for another day and I'm going to start on this side because that leaves the cutting part over there at that door and that's actually there are essentially six panels going between these rises in the middle I'm not going to worry about those rises there I don't know what they're called but rivets or whatever it's the support for the roof I'm not going to do anything to those so most of this hopefully will just be putting up good flat sheets I know for some people they'd be really concerned about how this is going to look. That's not my biggest concern. If I can just drop it a few degrees back here uh, to he help keep it a little bit better insulated, that'll be great. And another reason I want to do this is mainly for the pets, obviously. But uh, when we are transporting our bikes, our batteries are up kind of close. To, I know we can move those, but just that's the place that's working really well for us right now. And so we also don't want those batteries to get overheated. So. Um, gonna get started with the whole sheets and Okay, day one of van roof insulation. Uh, I'm going to call this done. This was the easy part, and I know that. Uh, tomorrow, every piece I put in has to be cut. But, uh, unscientific method, but uh, I'll just show you. We have a lot of sun today. So, this is much cooler than that. <laughs> when you touch the part with just the metal, uh, it's much, much warmer than... 
I mean, I can leave my hand up here, and this is getting uh, pretty warm pretty fast. And so, um, it's. I think it's really going to make a big difference. And so, with the heat, and that's really what what I was concerned about. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm going to go on and finish this up, and there. Are really are two reasons one is it's about 2 30 in the afternoon uh and like i said it's may 1st so it's a lot hotter outside but this stuff is actually doing an awesome job because it's much cooler in here than it is out there uh, i mean i can feel a marked difference i wish uh, like i said i had some scientific some data to give you but i don't uh, and the main reason i'm going to go in and finish this up is because these are straight cuts it shouldn't take too long and we are getting ready for some record heat. Uh, we're going to be in the upper 90s and even possibly touching 100 in the next few days, which is just crazy. That is, like I said, record heat. It's supposed to be around 85. And so we're close to normal temperatures today. And since this is helping so much and it's going to be at least a week before I, it would be cool enough for me to get back out here and do it, um, I figure I might as well go on and, like I said, straight cuts, go on and finish this up. And I'll okay, my installation of the insulation, installation of the insulation is finished. About as finished as I'm going to get it. And it is aesthetically, no, it's not perfect, but um, one thing that has been a nice uh, surprise, and that is as the afternoon has gotten hotter outside my working environment inside the van has dropped i never dreamed that was going to happen so uh, i would say based on that this stuff is doing an amazing job um, i i am thrilled and out of that entire box this is what i have left i have five pieces that are about a three and a half inch and then one that's probably about eight um just the little pieces that were left over i will tell you i um i did use this some but this stuff is so sticky i'm not sure that i actually had to uh but i am very pleased that box i don't remember i think it was around fifty dollars um but it, it was I am totally impressed said it would cover 36 square feet I had no idea that this van was that was that large but um, I am for the purpose I got it for I think it's going to be absolutely awesome and uh, I think it's really going to help keep the temperature down in the back of the van help keep it regulated uh, it's not going to cause it's gonna you know the air conditioner won't have to work as hard to keep the entire van cooled off and so very nice very nice i am very pleased and um hey i had time to do it so got it knocked out thanks for watching two tired teachers